everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Retro Gamers Podcast, episode number 303. Larry here. And Anthony here. And what's going on? How are you today? Oh, man, I don't know. I think I'm hungover from Thanksgiving. Still. <laughs> but, but Thanksgiving hasn't happened yet. So no, I was going to exact- say. I'm not exactly sure what's going early, on. Early trip to fan. So you got to be careful that's of that. It. Yeah, I have this IV drip of it to keep me mellow. <laughs> I think that's what did Michael Jackson, and I'm not understanding. Oh, okay, that oh, that was it was an overdose of tryptophan. Okay. <laughs> that's a lot of turkey, a yeah, lot of turkey. turkey. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. So if I nod off during the podcast, you'll understand. Fair enough, no problem. We'll have your cats just bat you a little bit. They'll, they'll take over. <laughs> so, uh, but yes, yeah, so no, we got the our kind of a Thanksgiving uh, episode, uh, if you will, mm-hmm. uh, of the Retro Gamers podcast, and we're going to kind of get right into it. But uh, before we do because we got some cool stuff to talk about as far as uh, well it used to be a day but now it's a month of sales um I, yeah which it's is crazy which i guess is good because i mean there's still going to be chaos this mm-hmm. friday um at three o'clock in the morning whenever these stores open yeah, or thursday night that's true thursday night yeah but hopefully now that it's a month long, that kind of calms some things down because you know people have died. So yeah, well um, you would th- you would think so. And then like I look online and I see like um, a fifty five inch OLED four K TV for one hundred fifty dollars. Oof, but, that's... but but again, you have to go to the store to get it. So it's like they're still they're still inviting people to but... come and be crazy. And a deal like that is worth throwing elbows, especially like to a 12 year old. There you go. Right. Yeah, just sorry, like, whack, you know. So, sorry I trampled seven people to get my TV, but I got my TV. Good to go. You're good to go. So, but before we get into that, um, we've, and in the past, this has been brought up often. And um, we look, you know, we do this, you know, live, if you will, meaning like we kind of just bring it to, t- you know, we just mm-hmm. record as is. And we've never admitted to be, you know, the end all be all knowing of everything there is with video games. Never admitted that. No, no, we uh we we prefer to be the down to earth flawed video mm. game people. Like everything else in my life, I might as well be flawed in this as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so but we're gonna I think it'll be fun to do. Um we're gonna point out when when people kind of just you know throw it out there to us, like, hey, look, that wasn't correct. Um, and I'm going to keep it all anonymous because I don't want the same person to keep getting famous over and over again because he's a very unfun gamer. But um, just want to throw out real quick. Last week he's, he did mention he's awesome. By the way, I love it when he corrects us. <laughs> um, we mentioned last week Twilight Princess. Of course, uh, looking for it on the Switch. Uh, it will be impossible to find on the mm-hmm. Switch because it was Skyward Sword that was re-released on the Switch. Right. Uh, Twilight, Twilight Princess on GameCube. On yeah, Twilight. Well, Twilight Princess was GameCube, Wii, and there was, I think there was a re- HD release on Wii U. No, don't dare, don't you dare do oh, that. Yeah. I'm gonna do <laughs> no. it. There was a re release <laughs> on the Wii U, <laughs> to be fair, not the Wii U, but for some reason in China in December of 2017, it was re released on the Nvidia Shield television. Ah, very nice. So that I still need to look into, but um, nevertheless, and it's going to, I can, con- to- I can confirm that there was an HD version on the Wii U. And the only reason why I remember that is because there was a special, uh, there was a special edition that came out that had Wolf Link uh, figure, had a Wolf Link figure in the box. So, okay. See now you're making me now. All right. So, so, so there you but go. Then why is it not on here listed on Wikipedia? I, I don't know. I just know I I literally did a Google search for it. It brought me to Ab- Amazon where you can buy the last copy. Oh, okay. No, for three hundred dollars. Right. <laughs> a a high definition remaster for the Wii U. I'm, yes. I'm reading it right here. The Legend is, of Zelda: Twilight Princess is. was released March yes. of 2016. I there correct. you go. See, and so, you're right. I do I do remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So nobody needs to correct us. That was correct. <laughs> It gets a lot okay. more violent off camera. So yeah, yeah, yes, it does. We we we, we yeah, we, we throw daggers, so. literal daggers. All right, so there we go. Nevertheless, Twilight Princess at all not on the switch. So right. there's the correction of the week. There we go. All right. So let's the, uh, the retro correction of the week of the week. We, we should do it 20 years from now, actually. Yes. <laughs> In episode four. Uh wow. 
Um, that felt that is retro. So mm-hmm. let's get into it though. Again, it's it's Thanksgiving, the holiday everyone forgets about. People go from Halloween to Christmas mm-hmm. like it's a well that's that's I blame Mariah Carey for that. <laughs> because like they thaw her out and she literally breaks through the ice on November first. So is she behind me? Where is she? She's she's probably watching you. No, I think she's stored away. The one yeah. pop vinyl I actually won from a nice. raffle. But see, but she up. now but she should be out because it's the holidays. So just the same <laughs> the same way they let her out of her chamber. You should be putting her up on your shelf. But her time frame is very limited because after Christmas, she starts crumbling immediately because oh, on yeah. New Year's Eve, she yeah. falls apart. Yeah, you know, it's, television like, it's like one of those, it's like one of those, like, remember, like, Christmas movies we would see as a kid where it's like, you know, it's like, uh, it, it's like Frosty the Snowman. It's like, you have to, hur- it, like, she has to hurry up before <laughs> she melts away. It's literally, the snow- we should just change Frosty the Snowman to Mariah, you know, like Mariah the singer. Or whatever we want to do. But uh, it's literally Just that song. Take her microphone away as she hits Times Square on, on December 31st. Yes. So oh, anyway. Epic meltdowns. Um, so, but yes, but we have a lot of... <laughs> if she ever hears this, she'll sue us. Oh, uh, that's fine by me. Worth it. Um, this week, though, what we're getting at is with Thanksgiving uh, comes the sales, the specials, as we mentioned mm-hmm. in the beginning. And we're going to hit some of, um, actually some upcoming sales that now are month longs as opposed to 24 hours. Yeah, and you know what? And it makes it a little bit com- uh, it makes it a little bit more complicated to kind of <laughs> dial in what the sales are because the sales have already been going on all month. Granted, for Black Friday, and now it's like kind of Black Friday week. It's not Black Friday the day. A lot of stuff is a lot of stuff like when you guys are listening or watching this podcast right now, the sales are already going, which means mm-hmm. it's quite possible some of these are already sold out. Um, which sure. you know, obviously, we can't be responsible for. <laughs> well, yeah, no, but no, but no. but that's just the nature of Black Friday. Black Friday has become a month long thing. But then they they sometimes they hit really hot new sales the mm-hmm. week of Thanksgiving, especially the day after Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. And this is of course always you know in advance of what will eventually happen in December, which is Cyber Monday, because Cyber Monday is right around the corner after this. True. Well, usually Cyber Monday is like that Monday. Which actually might be December first this year. Oh, I always thought it was the first Monday of December. No, it used to be. It used to be the Monday immediately after Black Friday. Oh, okay. But then again, like yeah, yeah, which might be possible. So the whole thing is like, yeah, a whole bunch of sales are coming. Pull the whole thing Um, off. Yeah, basically, I would like to because I I really don't want to buy anything this year because every year I buy for Black Friday and every year I never play what I buy. You're storing it. Yeah, I'm basically just. Yeah, I'm just, I am. I am a chipmunk. Um, I don't know which one, though. Probably not. <laughs> My God, you're Simon. I'm Theodore. Um, so... <laughs> so we're missing our Alvin. <laughs> Jack could be our Alvin. We'll, um, be, we'll do our search. No, Jack would be Simon. Um, that, that is true. No, you're 100% Or right. Jeanette, if he wants to be. Oh, um, wow. He could That's be. 2022. Why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, anyway, <laughs> so, um, Black, so getting to the. So what I did was I kind of went through, I specifically went through the Black Friday deals that are supposed to be this week. They may or you know okay. that's supposed to be happening this week instead of the month long thing. So mm-hmm. what was out there that was ha- that that was going on sale specifically Black Friday week that might be appealing to everybody? And yep. I did not find a bunch of stuff because again the sales have just been going on. And on top of that, very interesting this year. Could not find a Black Friday, uh, not Black Friday, a Best Buy um, circular for the week. And I don't know why, because like everybody, mm-hmm. even though everybody um, does it, they do their sales online, they listen online, everybody still does the circular bit. Um, oh, I know. Physical about. circular. Yeah, yeah. And then like if you go to blackfriday.com, which is where I usually go, mm-hmm. um, they'll have the circulars up there. I didn't even know there was a website like that. Okay. Well, before BlackFriday.com, I used to go to a website called BFAds.com, and they literally they scan every single circular for huh. every store and the sales that they're having for wow. Black Friday specifically. That used to be I I had gone to that site for like I don't know twelve thirteen years. That's crazy. Um, okay. Yeah, it had been there forever, and it would. That's how I would make my um. Oops, earthquake. Uh, oh. That's that's how I would make my uh, Black Friday shopping list. 
I'd be oh, like, oh, cool. I'd be like, this is easy. I'm like, now I know what to get. <laughs> um, now, not, you know, and some places still do it, but not everybody does. So I could not mm-hmm. find the Best Buy one. But what I did was um, I found Walmart, I found Target, I found GameStop. And I found one thing at Costco worth bringing up. Costco, okay. Costco. So if you're a Costco shopper. Why not? Um, and so I'm trying to figure out the best way to break it down because um, everybody ba- everybody pretty much has the same deals. Yeah. I mean, that's the other thing too. Yeah. Some things are off by like maybe five bucks, but for the most part, same deal. So <clears throat> um, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to go through it by um, company. Okay. And then just, and then we'll go from there. So first off, like to start with Nintendo. Okay. Mm-hmm. So again, games are going to be on sale all over the place. I'm, I'm just pulling out a couple of things that I thought were worth bringing up because Nintendo is not known for their sales. No. And this is why, like, this is the time of year. This is usually the time of year where you will get a first party Nintendo game at its cheapest. Yeah, exactly. So, so a perfect example right now. At Walmart, Target, and GameStop, um, the Black Friday deal is a Nintendo Switch console with a digital copy of Mario Kart 8 and a three-month Switch Online membership for $2.99. Well, that's not bad at all. Yeah. So again, the Switch the, the console price hasn't changed. You're getting, but you're getting mm-hmm. you're getting a $60 game and mm-hmm. you're getting three months of online membership, which isn't that much money. But no, still, but still, it's something. You know, yeah. it's an extra like ten bucks. Well, um, thrown in there. So again, so you're getting about three hundred seventy bucks for three hundred. And again, all go. three and all three of them are carrying it. Walmart, Target, GameStop. Yeah, Walmart. I feel like a lot of that ends up being the the manufacturer. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so I thought that was worth bringing up. Um, another thing worth bringing up: your favorite game, Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Um, that one. Twelve bucks. No. Um, I, I, you know, it'd be funny if I ever saw a Switch game marked down to twelve bucks. I think I would grab it. <laughs> I think I would grab it just to show off the price, not the True. game. Like I, you know, I'd be like, "Hey, look, I just got like a brand new, um, you know, I got a brand new garbage game, but it was twelve dollars on Switch." <laughs> like, um, but no, Zelda: The Breath of the Wild. GameStop's ha- GameStop has it for thirty five. Um, okay. Walmart has it for twenty nine. Oh wow! And, and right, I've now I've seen thirty nine for. Uh, Switch games rarely have seen lower than that. Like for the first party ones, yeah, first party, yeah, yeah. For the first party ones, rarely do they do they go lower than thirty nine. That's wild. Um, so thirty five at GameStop, twenty nine at Walmart. I thought that's a great deal if you have. That's very good. Yeah, if you have, that might be while, worth phenomenal. That might be worth it for me to buy it and then just throw it out. That's very true. The so one less person that has to deal with it. Well, you know, kind of like that Virtual Boy I destroyed. Um, <laughs> I still have it. So yeah. I, I know it, it was showcased on episode 300, <laughs> which by the I'm way, blue. if you haven't seen episode 300, you should go back and check it out. A lot of stuff goes on in that episode. A lot of Gorilla Glow. So. Um, another another one, um, the uh, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Calabunga Collection, which just recently came out. Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate when those happen. <laughs> yeah, it happens all the time. It's like we it all does. run out. We all spend our money. Um, I don't remember how much I spent on it. I mean, I think it retailed at maybe 40 40 maybe. Well, Target's got it for 25. Uh 20. 20. Oh, okay. Then yeah, it might have been 30. But still, maybe. 20 is very good. Don't get me wrong. The, the, the 30 or 40 was where the game's phenomenal. So, no, no, the game is fantastic. But if you if, you know, if you were hold if you held off a little bit because which, you didn't want to buy it day of, I'm like, here you go. You can get it at Target for 20 bucks. And it did just come out like a month or two ago. A month yeah. ago. Because the only, Cal it's only about a month old. Yep. So it would have been worth the wait. Oh well. Exactly. And then, um, uh, oh, also at Target, um, you know, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. Oh, yeah. I wish I had room to use that. I know. Um, I think the retail price is $100 or $110. For Black Friday, Target's got it for $60. Oh, nice! So that's a that's a huge drop. That's like a fifty dollar drop. Yeah. Um. So almost half off. Um. And then a couple more one. first party games. Uh, GameStop has Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening for thirty nine, which is the okay. normal. That's the normal kind of sales that's price. About yeah. That's about the normal sales price. And then uh, GameStop also has Mario Party Superstars, which just came out not too long ago, also mm-hmm. for thirty nine. But Walmart. Also has Mario Party Superstars on sale for twenty nine. Walmart's always like they're, ten bucks. I remember they're when we always ten this? bucks cheaper. Yeah, we exactly. figured that. 
We figured out that trick. If you go to Walmart, all the games are ten dollars cheaper when you buy them. And yet, I still, I still don't go to Walmart to buy. Oh, you still don't games. go to Walmart. Yeah. No, I don't. No, 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 no. Neither do I. I don't know why. There's like this weird. <laughs> there's like a weird mental block <laughs> that does not send me to Walmart, and I don't know why. Because it's like I think it was what I think when Metroid Dread came out is when we discovered that or something. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember going like, and I remember when I went to Walmart and I just looked at all the prices. I'm like, no, it's not just one game. It's like <laughs> it's all of them, and there's yeah. no membership fee. So yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, wow. I go, they're cozying up to the devil. <laughs> um, all right, so that those were just the things that I pulled out for Nintendo. All right, very cool. All right, moving on to Microsoft. Ah. Okay, uh, again, um, Microsoft didn't see a whole lot of stuff. Um, the the hot one obviously is going to be the actual console itself, and mm. this was. This, I think, might be the biggest deal I found across the board for okay. Black Friday. Uh, the Xbox Series S mm -hmm. at Walmart and GameStop is on is fifty bucks off, so two forty nine for the Xbox Series S. That's not bad, which is a great price. Yeah. At Costco, they dropped it ten bucks. It's two thirty nine. That's okay. why I brought up Costco. But the big one is at Target. At Target, you get the Xbox Series X S, not X, mm -hmm. the Xbox mm -hmm. Series mm -hmm. S, which is mm -hmm. the digital one, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to double check, but yeah, go. Yeah, because the X is the more expensive one. So, yes. Yeah. So the Xbox Series S at Target is $249, but they're throwing in a $50 Target gift card on top of it. Oh, well, that's not bad. Yeah. So you buy the console for two fifty, you get a fifty dollar Target gift card. You can go back in there, pick out a game or two, or actually, yep. you can pick out several because sales. Yeah. Um, and uh, yes, the Series S is yes yeah. uh, the digital the so, digital version. Yeah. See that. So that was the real the, the biggest thing that I saw for Microsoft that was going mm -hmm. on. The other thing, like there were some games on sale that uh, a lot, you know, a lot of what I saw that was marked down were the sports games. So like. NHL 23, FIFA 23, Forza Horizon 5, F1, which mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. I didn't realize Formula One has like an annual game. Um, oh, yeah. It does now. Uh, but yeah. they were uh, they were all listed at Target for 35 bucks, And I think all of them just came out last month or recently. Okay. Like mo most sports games usually come out around September, October every year. Give or take, yeah. So I think these are all generally new games and they mark them down to 35 And then GameStop, which mm -hmm. this might be the one game I do purchase. Um, well, actually, if if they have it for you know PS5 because I don't have a, a Xbox Series S, but mm. uh, GameStop has the Quarry, which came out earlier this year. Um, oh yes, it's the it's the horror based game starring David Arquette and Lin Shay. Um, yep, it's marked down to seventeen already. Seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars. Yeah. Wow. I'll be looking into that now. Yeah, so uh I yeah, so if they if if they're selling the Sony version for 17, I'll pick it up. Maybe it's the Xbox One version and not the Series S. I, I don't know, but it's definitely gonna it's if it's not and I'm marked, sure that's like the not, standard edition. Yeah, and if it's not marked down yet, um as of our recording today, Larry, it'll mm -hmm. be marked down, you know, by the time this episode drops. Okay. Um, but that's really all I saw from Microsoft that was out. I don't know if they're really just trying to push um, the console sales more than mm -hmm. anything, but that was the biggest thing I saw. Um, okay. There are always, and again, caveat to this: if you guys are listening and watching, there are there are going to be tons of sales on games. We just can't pinpoint. Every no, game. no, of course. Um, uh, just to give you a heads yeah. up if it if it matters to you, the PS4 version of the Quarry is like twenty bucks on Amazon. Uh, yeah, you know, I may, I, I know I have a PS5. I may, I may just buy the PS4 version. Don't get me wrong. The PS5 version is 30, but still. Oh, that's still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Cause when the game came out, I think the game came out at 70. Something like that or 60 or whatever. Yeah, it is, it, no, yeah. no, no. It was up there. I think it was 70. So, okay. um, okay. Uh, moving and now moving on to Sony since we're talking about Sony. Speaking of which. Yep. yep. And Sony would be the one that I always look at. Um, and, uh, the PS5 console, uh, which is still very hard to get. In fact, <laughs> never last, available. Yeah, I think um, I think I read an article earlier this week that um, I think the best-selling console in September or October was the PS5. It actually outpaced 
How is that possible? Which right, which is like I'm like oh, I, I, like literally I read it and the first thing in my head was oh they had enough. It's like they had <laughs> exactly. enough. To, they had enough to be the best sale. I guess they did. Um, <laughs> but the big the big the big target right now is the P- PS5 just released a God of War Ragnarok bundle. Oh, of course, yes. So um, Walmart Walmart has that as of well as of Monday the twenty first. Uh, November 21st, they have the Ragnarok bundle. There's no sale price for the PS5 no. console. No, no, no. no. So, in fact, they, they, they upped the price. Yeah, in fact, I'm talking about, in fact, I guess the Black Friday sale price is that they didn't up it. They gave you the regular <laughs> price that they were selling it for. So um, both Target and Walmart will have the PS5, Ragnarok bundle, digital version 459, um, the uh, regular console that'll take discs, Five fifty nine, which is exactly what the price would be. Yeah, uh, totally. So, which is fine. But, yeah, but um, the appeal is like they're actually going to have it. Have you heard this thing about real quick about Ragnarok running on a PS4? No. So apparently, I don't know if it's been fixed, but people who ran Ragnarok on the PS4 said, "Remember when I had the video of my Atari VCS when I first got it, and I turned it on, and it sounded like you know we were at like Logan International Airport or whatever." Yes. I don't know why I didn't use a New York-based uh, airport, uh, like JFK or something. I just yeah, went with you Logan, just felt like saying which Logan. I don't even know where that is. Anyway, um, moving on. The um, they say it like the PS4 sounded like it was going to blow up. It was running so loud. Wow! Like just that fan was was doing overtime. Well, that that's um, how intense that game is. I guess. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but um, for those of you who are trying to get your hands on a PS5 this holiday season, um, Walmart and Target will have this God of War Ragnarok PS5 bundle. So cool. get out there and grab it. Um, the other notable things to point out, again, this is all going to be mostly... Get- oh, um, here's an interesting one. Walmart and Target PS5 controllers marked down to 50, which is pretty good. That's not bad. Yeah, they're normally 70 or 80. Yeah, the price. So, yeah, they're, they are pricing. It's that haptic feedback. Honestly. And then they put out like a new one, like an uh, elite controller or something. Uh, I think everybody has an elite controller. That's true. That's true. Yeah, everybody has like a $150 elite controller. I'm like, unless that controller is going to play the game for me, I'm not paying $150 for the controller. And the I'm Xbox sorry. one is heavy. My cousin yeah. has the Xbox one. I mean, it's all module and everything. You can change it up. But yeah. it's got some weight to it. If someone breaks in the house, you can use it. There's a nice weapon. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. No, I'll just I'll just throw my uh, my crappy little regular controllers <laughs> and then i get the haptic feedback on my hand oh i felt that <laughs> Ooh, dead <laughs> exactly uh so ps5 controllers 50 bucks to target and walmart okay uh and then game related i thought there were some interesting ones um on the list ratchet and clank um this is interesting too because this doesn't happen all the time ratchet and clank is uh um at Walmart for thirty five, but Target's got it for thirty. Ooh, and GameStop has it for thirty. Interesting. So yeah, Walmart missed the memo. Exactly. Um, the brand well, got uh, what? Good. I was gonna say fun note as well though. If you're a member of the PlayStation, uh, the Essential or whatever that is, mm-hmm. I think they just dropped all the Ratchet and Clanks on there. Oh, nice to play. Yeah. Oh, good. I would like to play those because I've never yeah, played. I, uh, a Rift Apart is the first Ratchet and Clank I've played, and I yep. love it. So. Yeah. Um, and then uh, other game stuff. Walmart has the brand new Gotham Knights game already marked down to thirty five. Like this game, <laughs> literally, like didn't it just come out like two weeks ago? I'm pretty sure I thought it was still on pre order. So <laughs> no, 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 it, it it dropped. I just don't know if it was two weeks ago or a month ago. It, okay. it like it literally, I saw the sale and I'm like, it just came <laughs> out. Oh, the 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 people that are going to be mad over this one. Yeah. Got the Knights 35. Uh, WWE 2K22 is 27. I just saw that. Yeah. yeah I think I might have time to pull but that now, up. Yeah. Is that the one that came out last year? Sta- no, it's the new. Well, yeah, it's the, the, the current one. Right. The new one hasn't come out yet. I think they released them in March now. Oh, it's March now. Okay. Yeah. I think like around Yeah. So 2K22 so. is marked down to 27. Yep. Um, this is at Walmart. Also at yeah. Walmart, Madden, NFL 23, and FIFA 23. Marked down to 35. Okay. So some interesting stuff there. And then GameStop is doing their usual, um, black, well, it's, I would say it's Black Friday, but they seem to do this every other month anyway. <laughs> um, 
it's buy two get one free on oh, yes. all um xbox one ps4 games i think used not new probably pre-owned yeah, yeah. it's usually the uh the pre-owned yeah. ones but still buy two get one free always a nice deal especially if you're trying to fill that awesome. back catalog totally um and that's that's pretty much all i pulled but the, the like i said it was a lot more complicated this year than most years mm -hmm. because we i think this i feel like this is the first year we've really settled into black friday month okay uh, i see what you're talking where about it's like although the last couple of years i mean because of the pandemic yeah like everybody <laughs> was doing the online stuff so now i feel mm -hmm. like we have officially settled into it is now black friday month November 1st is when it begins. So you're just going to find sales everywhere you go. These are just specific to this week. And, and those are also know. ones that you, you you pointed out in store. Well, like like stores, if you will. Of course, you know, like Xbox, PlayStation is going to do their digital uh, sales and everything. But also now is a good time to purchase. And usually I do, even if I already have a couple months left, mm -hmm. to per like if you do the Xbox Game Pass or PlayStation Plus, like I, I think I saw, I think I got an email or something. PlayStation Plus is like twenty five percent off right now. Oh, nice! Um, even up to a year subscription. Yep. So you know, like I said, even if you still have a couple months left, it's worth it to to purchase now. So, and this is where I usually do that. Um, I've been noticing sites like, and we get, uh, you know, we get a lot of news and information from, from Nintendo Life. They're a great site, but Nintendo Life does it. And there's another site that does it. I can't remember the name where they sell, um digital like the digital gift cards for the xbox for the playstation oh yeah mm -hmm. for the switch and a lot and i've done this through nintendo life their switch ones they'll do and i don't know if it's going on right now i think it is like five like five or ten dollars off a fifty dollar nintendo gift card yep. um or five dollars off a of forty dollar you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i've a few times bought fifty dollar gift cards for even like forty five dollars Yep. In the, you know, because I, you know, as we talked about last week, you know, with the digital. So, you know, now is a lot of time good with the, with the gift yeah. cards. Um, and, yeah. And then the other thing also digital sales. So um, just to bring it up, like um, if you go on the PlayStation store, if you go on Xbox live, if you go on switch, mm -hmm. uh, the switch store, they all have sales going on. Um, I think like right now, uh, Sony just popped one up up to 70% off games. Exactly. I think Nintendo put one up up to 75% off games, digital mm -hmm. games. So um, that's another way to go also for anybody who's looking for some games that you haven't bought yet that you're looking to buy online. Check it, check it out now because they have Black Friday sales up for that too. And, and the final thing as far as deals, I just want to mention real quick, mm -hmm. um, Arcade 1UP has some great deals going mm -hmm. on, at least right now as of recording. I mean, Seven hundred dollar consoles, uh, cabinets going for four hundred. Yeah, um, I, and you know what? I for, I forgot to bring that up. I don't remember if it was oh. Walmart or Best Buy. I think it was Best Buy has the uh, the Simpsons arcade for two ninety nine. Ooh, wow, that's bad because I'm on Arcade One Up site and yeah, Arcade One no, Up got if, Simpsons for if, four. If, if you go to Best Buy, they had a few. I think the Terminator Two one they also had marked down to two ninety nine. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to specifically bring up the Simpsons one because I know how much you love that game. I know. Trust me, it's only because I don't have the room. That is the only. No, I, and I and I know that's why you don't have it. But the, <laughs> the fact that it was marked down to two ninety nine, and that two ninety nine comes with the stand and the stool. That's a good deal. Yeah. That's oh yeah, here it is. I'm looking at it right now. Um, yeah. No, it's it's. Yep. No, I'm having a little trouble pulling up the side. I apologize. But um, mm -hmm. uh, but no, but still arcade one up right now. Now's the time. The pinball machines. Yep. Uh, normally seven. Oh, a friend of ours, Frankie, actually has one of the pinball machines. Yeah, I think about the Star arcade Wars one up. One, right? Uh, I think it was Marvel. Oh, was it Marvel? Okay. Known Frankie is probably Marvel, yeah. and he enjoys it. He says it's really good. Yeah. So, no. Last time I uh, when he did, when I did talk to him about it a while ago, he did yeah. say he enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, so check out all the sales, and um, I mean, honestly, now is really the time. I don't know why people shop the rest of the year. I know why because we're we're impatient. Yes. I'm impatient. You are. You you definitely are. <laughs> I I purposely buy stuff at full price the day before the sale goes on. That oh. happened to me with with my PS3. Yeah, I remember I that. Bought a PS3, brand new. I'm like, I need a Blu-ray player. It was like seven hundred dollars back then. Remember? Yeah. Literally, like five days later, it, it dropped by half. Mm -hmm. And I tried returning. I'm like, not returning, but I'm like, hey, look, it's less than a week. Can I get a price adjustment? 
and the jerk at the GameStop was like, no. I'm like, all right, whatever. Yeah, I would have brought it back. I, you know, at that point, I would have been like, you know what? Fine, I want a refund. <laughs> and no, I would have gotten a refund and went to another GameStop. Oh, knowing you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I would have gotten the refund, gone to another GameStop, got it for half price. <laughs> so that's what I did. All righty. Good, good stuff. All right. So uh, what else we got on the docket here? Uh, I think we're just going to roll right through today. Let's um, do it. Because... Uh, my patience is already wearing thin. Uh, <laughs> I do that to you. Yeah. Well, no, it's but you don't do that to me. It's like I see all these sales and I'm like, I'm not going to do it this year. And now after reading through them, I'm like, all right, I got to go make a list. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I got to go make a list. <laughs> um, uh, Just a few. Uh, we got a few bits of retro news and a few retro birthdays. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll plow through the retro birthdays yeah. really quickly. Um, And again, this isn't really a retro birthday yet, but we just wanted to point out that... Uh, the Nintendo Wii U console turns 10 this oh, week. Oh, yeah. I still think it's yeah. slightly underrated, but... Oh, well, for the games that came out on it, it's incredibly yeah. underrated because a majority of the library is now on the Switch. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, that just tells you. I mean, you can't... Nintendo makes quality games on every console, mm-hmm. even if the console isn't well-received. True. So, yeah. yeah, so the Wii U may have had a short lifespan, but the games live on on the Switch. So, Absolutely. Um, so happy 10th to Wii U. Nice. We'll talk we'll talk more in depth about it in 5 years. Um, <laughs> this one celebrating its 15th retro birthday is actually the one I wanted to highlight only because um I've had so much fun with this game. Okay. Uh released on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Rock Band is 15 years old. Real, you know what? I'm gonna yeah. say only 15 because I kind of feel like it's older than that. But okay. Well, I think Guitar Hero might oh, be confusing you're right. it. You're right. might be, yeah. So, yeah. but Rock Band is 15 years old. I'm not kidding you uh, when I say that this was the game that helped solidify all of my almost all of my friendships on the west coast <laughs> um because awesome. my friends and i we used to i literally would bring it in on friday nights to our office at work and after everybody left we would take over our conference room <laughs> and just play rock band until one or two o'clock in the morning oh that's awesome it was absolutely really amazing awesome. Uh, probably one of the most memorable experiences was when somebody brought a fog machine in and don't bring, <laughs> don't bring a fog machine into a conference room with windows you can't open. So, oh boy. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, it was, it was an interesting experience. Very clerks too. We got fired at the quickie mark. Yeah. Also, you know, Wiki yeah. Mark. Yeah. Well, mixing the fog machine with Ooh. no windows that open and alcohol. Uh, there you go. A very fun rock band experience, but yeah. So That's rock band's 15 years old, literally before I moved, um, before I left LA, my friends and I got together to play it one oh. last time. And was, what what'd you play? What was your go-to? We played uh, uh well, instrument. We, we played Rock Band Four specifically. But, no, no, uh, I meant instrument. Instrument. Oh, um, honestly, um, uh, don't tell me you were singing. I well, because of my carpal tunnel, I can't. I used to do the guitar all the time. I can't do the guitar anymore. Oh, it sucks getting old. Okay. Yeah, it sucks getting old. <laughs> the drum, the drum, the drums. I can do a little bit of the guitar. I was always great at. So guitar, yeah. uh, so lead guitar was where I used to always go. But no, nope. I had to. I had to pick up the microphone. Oh wow. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. But unlike you, I'm not that bad. Wow. Accurate, but still. Yeah, yeah there, 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 there's somewhat of a singing voice in here, and uh, there's one, there's one rendition of one song where if you ever heard it, you would not believe it was me. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, it's all I want for Christmas. We're gonna debut it in December. You, uh, no, nobody wants to hear that, uh, no, especially if you have glassware around. Um, so happy 15th retro birthday to Rock yes. Band. Um, now getting to a couple of heavy hitters as well. Um, we have the 30th retro birthday, Ooh. going back to 1992, of a very iconic game. Uh, on the Sega Genesis, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is 30 wow. years old this week. That's 30, okay. 30 years old this week. Fair enough. Yep. Sonic and Tuesday. Arguably the best of the original. Oh, yes. Uh, agreed. The original group. Agreed, yeah. Yep. The debut of uh, Tails. Tails. Miles, Tails, Prower. Yes, um, so yeah, so Sonic the Hedgehog 2 turns 30. And last but not least, this is the Japanese anniversary, mm-hmm. uh, which at the time, ja- the Japan releases predated the US releases. We usually have oh, to wait yeah. up to like a year. But we are 
we are in the 35th anniversary of the ever iconic and you have this game sitting on your shelf somewhere and i believe it might be signed i'm not sure but the 35th anniversary of mike tyson's punch out on oh Netflix. i don't have it signed oh, trust me I, I thought you did yeah. No, I've tried, but it's hard to get his autograph. Yeah, so Mike Tyson's Punch Out is 35 years old. That's wow. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Which means that Mike Tyson is 35 years older. And trust me, he can still whap a, you know. Oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't challenge him. I, I When I met him, I was like, hey, still, even though I was just taking a photo, I'm like, okay, yeah, let's like, do this. It's like, let's do this. Don't hit me. Um, <laughs> all right, a couple of other uh, bits of retro news before we wrap up. Yep. Um, last week, I believe, we we saw the release of two new Pokemon games. We got Pokemon yes. Scarlet and Violet. Yep. Uh, how is this retro related? <laughs> it's a little bit retro related because if you are a Pokemon fan, they have reached a huge milestone in the Pokemon universe. The one thousandth Pokemon has been registered in the Pokédex. Wow. Uh, with Scarlet and Violet. So 1,000 Pokemon. I remember it was just 151. That's all you needed to deal it with. It used to be 151, and everybody wanted yep. to know how they could find Mew. Yeah. That's all I remember. Yeah. Where do I get Mew? Where do I oh get Mew? Oh, my God. It well, was old. Yeah. Mew, Mew is old news now because we have 849 other Pokemon. After. Oof. Good Lord. I wonder what the thousands one. Did it say which the thousandth one is? It did, but I don't want to give it away because I think it's part of the game. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Fair so enough. Okay. I saw no. it, they, they had a spoiler alert online. So ah, okay, no problem. No problem. So, but yeah, so Pokemon, huge milestone for them. And not only that, you know, um, I think I posted this last week as well that after 25 years, yes, <laughs> Ash Ketchum is finally a Pokemon world champion. <laughs> Gotta yeah. catch them all. That's he right. Did. The animators finally decided to draw that sequence. That's, that's a burn. I mean, honestly, that's you know what happened. You know exactly. It was more like, oh, you're not renewing your contract. Okay, well then, get out. But they were nice enough. Instead of killing Ash off, they yes. would give him the championship. Probably. Well, no. Like, remember in like the first movie, didn't they turn him to stone, and it was like he died? Oh, damn! Well, totally, because it was an anime. And that's I'm yeah. shocked they didn't kill him. Yeah, and everybody thought he was dead, and they had all the Pokemon crying. And I remember oh watching. God. I remember watching this as an adult, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" I go, "It's Optimus Prime." You're right. It's very hard. Optimus Prime. That you're right. It's very like, hard here to compare. Comes my PTSD. But um, um, but yeah, yeah. no. Um, but uh, by the also, way, great, great soundtrack from the first movie. Uh, excellent soundtrack. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, uh, also huge news coming out of the Pokemon universe that no, know, that's big, not yeah. only is it celebrating its 25th anniversary, which is a milestone in of itself, but Ash finally becoming a Pokemon world champion. Talk about yeah. long term storytelling no, for real. 25 years to tell a story in a kid's in a kid's cartoon. I mean, but that's look, I mean, it's 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 anime you know what i mean yeah. it's they do that they go for the long yeah way. no and that so. but that just a phenomenal yeah, oh just totally a phenomenal thing amazing love it so yep. uh so yeah so um so we got the 1000th pokemon added to the pokedex mm -hmm. um, <laughs> ash 2 don't ask him where it came from this was a little <laughs> random thing that i found on nintendo life that um uh there's a fan out there who is preserving legend of zelda history by 3d scanning the classic figurines from the 1986 Keshi series of, of um, Legend no of No idea what, you're, what that is, but okay. So, if you, if is you that wanna, Japanese? What? It, uh, yeah. So, it's a, oh, okay. it, it was a Japanese, they were Japanese figurines that came out. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to share my screen so everybody can get a look at this. Okay. Uh, it's on Twitter. Can you see this? Uh yes. Oh so these okay. little 3D figures. Oh my god, that looks like right out of the instruction book. Right? Well, and that's what it is. And and you know, and I don't know if they're right here, but if you look at Keshi Corner, this and this might be the very first time Link was depicted in a figure four. Yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah, so really, really interesting. So um so the uh, so this person is um is 3D scanning all of these old figures, huh, very uh, cool. which is really cool. Yeah. yeah. So and it just again another way to preserve. No, that's history, awesome. Yeah, which is great. Uh, and then the last bit of retro news that I have, uh, I, I sent you Jack and Rich this article. Yes. Um, recently, that um, archive dot uh, archive dot org, which is a nonprofit 
archive uh, uh, archive internet database. Mm-hmm. Um, we've brought them up several times before yes. because they have like over thirty thousand uh, games in their they library that you can yep. literally just go online and play. You can download and play. Um, a lot of old PC stuff that I used to love is up there. <laughs> but you can now read all 285 issues of Nintendo Power on archive.org. That's awesome. Yep. So, I mean, if it's still up. Yeah. Uh, so, well, yeah, if Nintendo hasn't filed a lawsuit, <laughs> which I don't think they will, because this archive.org, again, it's a not, it's a not, I believe it's a nonprofit. So um, they're, yeah. they're not making any money off of this. But uh, you know, Nintendo is Nintendo. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so it's like if you're looking for, you know, if you're stuck in Castlevania 2, like Larry's been for the last six years, um, and you need a little bit of help, you can go find the Nintendo power that will help you get through Castlevania 2, which actually I believe was I like, think it was issue two. I think it was issue two was Castlevania 2. Because <clears throat> remember it had the head, had yep. the, the bloody head. Uh, it did. I hold it, yeah. Uh, yeah, so go back it, to yeah. issue two of Nintendo power to help your help you get through Castlevania 2, Larry. How many issues? 285? 285. I had 284. There was one issue. Uh, my mom forgot to renew the subscription. Yeah, after, so after, one... after, after issue one. <laughs> probably uh <laughs> right she, she no bought, I... she bought issue one <laughs> she thought about it during issue two and then picked it up again in three no i think it was like a ducktales issue actually now that i think about it oh, really? um yeah I, I, that was the only magazine i really constantly subscribed to till the very end nice. uh, and i even had i was a subscriber before nintendo power when it was like a buy it was like a quarterly uh, uh newsletter but that's pretty cool. That's really cool, and definitely would love to go back and check out. I would just love to get my models. hands on some of those uh, oh, original. I wish I still had them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah so that's I might all. have the last issue actually. I think I still oh, have nice. the last issue. Yeah. You should preserve it. I, I do. I think it's in about one of my other magazines yeah. that I have some Very of. Very cool. Yeah. Um, and that's all I got for retro news this week. All right, and you know what? I think we'll we'll call it a holiday weekend. We got to get ready for turkey and stuffing and whatnot. Yes, we do. And then uh, next week will be our our real trip to Fan Hangover. Yeah, uh, that's that's when we'll be sound asleep. Yeah, so. we'll be like Cyber Monday happened. If you didn't if you didn't do it too bad. <laughs> the end. Go and watch it and such. No, uh, but I'm sure. Well, oh, a couple things before we wrap up, what? Larry. What? Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, we we, yeah. we both we both have a couple of purchases. They're off to the side. That's why. Yeah, we've been hiding them. God, if we can only prep. So t- we did prep too, and we actually we did. This time. But, th- but tis the holiday season. Mm-hmm. I also just realized because of the lighting, if you're watching me on YouTube, because of the lighting in my um, place right now, because I keep the lights off because the shine on my head is insane. <laughs> um, but because I'm sitting in a black chair wearing a black shirt. Oh, I, you're just a floating head. Yeah, I look like a little bit yeah. like a floating head. <laughs> um, but uh, since it is the holiday season, and every year I do go through this um, now that I've decided to start collecting them for my Christmas tree, but uh, I did do some Hallmark Christmas ornament purchases. Are you a member of their club then? I am not a member of their club. I just buy them when I remember to do it. <laughs> I was going to say, and I'll also point this out too. If you buy, if you wait until after Christmas, they do put them on sale. Well, too late. So, well, no, no, no. I still no, buy I the ones I want before Christmas in case they sell out. So, uh, so I picked up three. Oh, hey, me too. Okay. Uh, I picked up three. And the first one I picked up is the Sega Genesis. Yes. Console, I'll show that. I'll show mine right now. Well, yeah, right? Yes, awesome. There you go. Very, very nice. So this goes perfectly with my uh, Super Nintendo and my Nintendo console. I believe I got the and, Nintendo console as well. And this is this is how we know that we're getting older. Remember back in the day, you know, like the, the any Christmas ornaments that used to make noise, you used yep. to be able to plug into the string lights. Yep. Now they come with batteries. Yeah, now you just <laughs> put, the, you put the battery in and it works. Yep. So... Um, that was the first one I got. Yes. Uh, second one I got, uh, I really needed to add this because I thought it would look cool hanging on the Christmas tree, but it's Raccoon Mario. Oh, very cool. Little flying Mario. Yeah. Yay. Uh, I love that he's in flight. Oh, totally. Yeah, so that's, that's really awesome. cool. Uh, then last but not least, um, I had to add to my Zelda Christmas ornament collection. <laughs> and what better, what better figure to add than Link from the best Zelda game or best game potentially of all time no all right no that's uh, not yeah. legend of zelda breath of the wild here we have link shooting an arrow i always said Very it was nice. a beautiful looking game i never you know yeah it's the look game at that, that look at that no, that looks awesome that looks really cool he looks really cool 
So those are the three All ornaments right. that I picked up for this holiday season. So I, um, cause I ended up getting a new Christmas tree. Uh, my old one just, just ran out of life last year. Yep. So I picked up a new one, uh, completely underestimated the size of a three foot Christmas tree, but, uh, nice. I, I'll have to find something to prop it up on. But in honor of getting the new tree, I did pick up some ornaments. Again, like we showed it before, I got the Genesis. I kept mine just more console. Uh, I picked up the Super Nintendo. Very uh, nice. Version there. Very nice. I, I do have that. that one as well. And um, I think, though, it, I, I, I guess they're just not available anymore because they had an NES. Remember the NES one? That I, came I, out, wanna, but I think it, I have it. I'm not 100% sure. Either. I feel like it, you know, gone yeah. like that. Yeah. But... Nevertheless, I got the controller, the Nintendo. Controller. Ah, very nice. So, yeah. Yep. So those are my three new ones. Yep. There are also other ones because you have a three foot tree you may want to look at. They sell these miniature um uh ornaments of like like I have like uh an eight bit link in Zelda from last year. They're literally <laughs> like they're like like this tall. Oh like okay. super small. Um, but I saw that they add, I think they added, uh, they might've added some Pokemon this year to that oh. size. So if okay. you look for like mini ornaments, they have them as well. Yeah, I'll check. yeah, because I'll probably be able to get like like five, just like five of them on this tree. Yeah, you'll put those three on, and your tree will be full. So uh, I do need a new topper, though. I think. Well, anyway, all right. Well, very cool, very cool. And uh, with that, I think we'll wrap it up. Uh, floating head, Anthony. Can you tell us where they can find us online? Look, look, look. Wait, is it moving? What? <laughs> <laughs> that, you, that's you, the extent you, of our uh, fx budget yeah that, that's our fx budget we just we just totally blew it right there <laughs> um you guys can find us on facebook.com slash retro gamers podcast on instagram at retro gamers podcast on twitter at retro gamers pod you can listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts you can watch us on youtube at retro gamers podcast yep. um and uh, you can email us at email at the retro gamers.com Yes, definitely be in contact with us. Let us know what you think. Let us know suggestions. You yeah, know, we so love interacting new. with you guys. Exactly. Yes. That too. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, shares, tell everyone. All that you know how stuff. it works. So, yeah. all right. And happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Oh, and if you want, uh, keep an eye out on the Thanksgiving parade. You may see some, you may see somebody familiar walking. Really? Mm. That's yeah. pretty cool. All righty. Yes. Uh, awesome. You, well, I didn't say it was me, but it's me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> awesome well now i gotta watch and folks we'll catch you everywhere next week happy thanksgiving from the retro gamers podcast